Okay, now in our next um, packet, this is just a setup for the packet that comes after this, okay? You have x to the second multiplied by the parentheses x plus 2 minus 16 multiplied by the parentheses x plus 2. And here's what you're going to do here, okay? You're going to put this as part of a bigger box, and then down here you're going to write dops, question mark. Sometimes you're going to end up crossing this out, okay? Here's what you do. You make a space with a parentheses. What do you have in each parentheses? You notice how the parentheses are identical? Well, what that allows me to do is I can put the, the whole parentheses x plus 2 out here, as long as they're identical, and I can cross those out. Now, what do I have left? I have x to the second minus 16. Okay, now your x plus 2 is done. Put that over to the side. Now the parentheses where you have the second power, you need to see if that's a difference of perfect squares. Obviously, you have a minus, and 16 is 4 by 4, and x to the second is x times x. So I can make conjugates out of that. x, x, 4, 4. Okay? And also connect those kind of like you would a factor tree. So times x plus 4 times x minus 4. Okay, the next problem, same idea. Include that in your box, okay? And then space parentheses. This, all this is is setting you up for the next packet so it's not as confusing and overwhelming. And then I will check for my difference of perfect squares. Okay, now the parentheses are identical. Okay, so x minus 4. And that leaves me with 2x to the second power. And put that in parentheses, plus 5. Now, the x minus 4 I just write down over here. There's no power on that x. It is finished. Now, this has a second power, but there's a plus sign, so I cross that out. I wouldn't be able to do the difference of perfect squares. So I just bring the 2x to the second power plus 5 over here. Okay, next problem. Let's see these go really fast. Okay. So again, same idea, just include that in a bigger box. I'll explain more about that in the next packet, but you need to just make sure you're able to follow what I'm doing here. And I'm going to want to see if I have any difference of perfect squares here. Okay, so we got x minus 6 in each parentheses. You're factoring that out, and then you have 3x to the second plus 7. And here's why. Don't draw this, but here's why. Here's a plus sign. So if you divide each, of the, each side of the plus by the parentheses x minus 6, they really just cancel out. Okay, That's why I'm able to do that. Okay, The x minus 6 I just write over here. Now this has a plus, so again, I don't do that. The majority of the problems I will be crossing the dots out. Okay. All right, next one, include that as a wider. Well, we got a little problem here. You see how the parentheses are not identical? Then this is a prime expression. You write prime, meaning it cannot be factored. That might happen. Okay, next one. And we want to see if we have a difference of perfect squares. Okay, so I have x plus 3 in each parentheses, okay? Because, again, what I'm going to do is make that a plus negative there. I'm going to divide each by x plus 3 and x plus 3, which cancels those out. Similar to how you do the GCF, just you're doing a binomial instead of just a number. So that leaves me with x second and negative 5. Please write that as minus 5. So the x plus 3 is finished, okay? 
Here you have a minus, but 5 doesn't appear that 5 is a perfect square. So again, that's crossed out. So the x to the second power minus 5. Okay, same idea on the next one. Include that in a big box, okay, and then a space parentheses. And we'll want to see if we have a difference of perfect squares afterwards. In the grand scheme of things, you're not going to see a problem like this, but it helps you set you up for the next thing. So my parentheses are identical, so I can factor out the, the binomial x plus 5, and then those can just be crossed out. And that leaves me with 4x to the power of 2 plus 3. So the x plus 5 is done. The other one, I don't even have a minus, so without the minus, you can't factor it as a difference of perfect squares, so we're just going to keep that. That's it. Okay, next one. So again, oh, I'm sorry, I should have included that in the box. It's a crappy job on my part. The difference of perfect squares. Okay, you have identical parentheses. Okay, so parentheses, I factor out the binomial x minus 2, and that allows me to cancel those. And I have 4x to the second power. Don't put plus negative. Put minus 9. Quit putting plus negative. So the x minus 2 stays there. Now here you got a minus, and uh, 3 times 3, and then 4 is 2 times 2. Then x to the second power is x times x, so I need to break that down. So it's 2x plus 3 and 2x minus 3. Okay, so you want to you don't want to write that, okay, because you factor that into 2x plus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 3. So that ends up being three different factors. Okay, next one I write prime because the parentheses aren't even the same. Okay. You got four to do. Um one of them's prime. One of them ends up being a difference of perfect squares.